Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Friends, water is the elixir for life, not only for humans but also for the vibrant world of plants. Just like we seek the highest quality of water for our own well-being, plants too benefit from the right type of hydration. And in this video, we will be delving into the factors that can contribute to their optimal growth and vitality. Starting with the most common choice of water that is our very own tap water. Now tap water is the most readily available form of water to all of us and generally it is uh, suitable for watering your plants because it contains some essential minerals. However, it is very important to consider the quality of water in your area because some municipalities they add chlorine or fluorine into that tap water during its purification process. Now generally the chlorine or fluorine that is added in the tap water is not up to that toxic level where it can affect plants and humans. Um, but researchers have shown that frequently using tap water uh, for watering the plants can reduce the soil microbiome. Now, to mitigate this, you can uh, leave uh, the watering can, the water in the watering can or a container overnight. Uh, so this will allow the added chlorine or fluorine to gas off before you use it for watering the plants the next day. And also, generally, we do not water our plants every day. Either we do it once weekly or we do it once fortnightly depending upon the weather or depending upon the plant requirement. Like we do not water every day which um, does not affect the soil microbiome that much because the researchers have also shown that letting your plant uh, sit without watering for 24 to 48 hours will help to bounce back that soil microbiome to a normal level. Next is the blessing of rainwater. Now rainwater is a natural gift from heaven which has been cherished by plants for centuries. This water is soft, it is free from all sorts of additives and has got all essential minerals in it which makes this water the uh, best choice or ideal choice for watering your plants. Now have you ever wondered that after each rainfall why does all the plants look so lush, green and beautiful? Well, that is because of the presence of nitrate ions in rainwater, which is the most readily bioavailable form of nitrogen. Uh, nitrogen being the most essential nutrient uh, required by the plants. So these nitrate ions are readily absorbed by the plant roots, making the plants look more green, healthy and wonderful. Collecting rainwater or rainwater harvesting not only provides optimal hydration to the plants but it also promotes sustainability and reduces the reliance on treated water sources. Next is the well water and spring water. For those who are fortunate enough to have access to these two forms of underground water, um, must consider a few things before they use well water or spring water for their plants. The quality of the well or spring water can vary based on the geological factors, so it's prudent to have it tested. Some well waters uh, can have excellent water quality, whereas others might, ha might have high mineral content um, or imbalances in the pH level. Generally, the pH level of well water or spring water ranges between 6.5 to 8.5, which is okay for most of the plants. Next form of water is distilled water, which is another very popular choice for watering the plants. Now, distilled water is basically tap water or spring water, which has been heated many times and then condensed to get that purest form of water, which is free from all sorts of minerals, microbes or heavy metals. So it is basically just water and nothing else, no added minerals in it. Now consistently using distilled water to water your plants can lead to nutritional deficiencies over time. However, you can use distilled water for rinsing the foliage of your plant or flushing out the excessive salts from the soil. Last is the filtered water or reverse osmosis water. Now reverse osmosis water or RO water is somewhat similar to distilled water because both distilled water as well as RO water do not contain any essential minerals in them. Another drawback of using RO water is that RO water is deionized water which has been gone through a series of 
um, filters during its uh, purification process to obtain the purest form of water, leaving behind all sorts of harmful chemicals, microbes, viruses, no heavy metals, no essential minerals, nothing. So basically this type of water is dead water which is not only harmful for the plants but also for humans and researchers have shown that using RO water for watering your plants uh, can cause serious nutritional deficiencies because the RO water um, leaches out the minerals from the soil as well as the plant to complete its chemistry which can cause serious nutritional deficiencies in the plant and using RO water for watering your plants will make it necessary for you to fertilize your plant on a regular basis to replenish those lost minerals which can adversely affect the health and growth of your plant so i will not recommend using um, uh, using ro water for watering your plants maybe tap water spring water well water might be way better than ro or distilled water Selecting the right type of water for your plants is a crucial aspect for their care and growth. It is important to consider your plants needs and the quality of the water sources from where you are going to water your plants. Choose the water that is pH neutral, clean and contains a healthy balance of essential minerals. Generally, tap water, rain water, well or spring water are the perfect choices for watering your plants. By nourishing your plants with the best type of water, you will witness their beauty flourish and their vitality radiate, creating a thriving ecosystem in your home or garden. So friends, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If this video was helpful to you, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Um, and I will see you next time with another exciting video. Till then, stay safe. Happy gardening. Bye-bye.